intuition and i'm here to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit your guides jesus allah the universe whoever it is you believe in scorpio this is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of october so i just want to let you guys know congratulations i'm so super happy for you of you you have transmuted so much darkness scorpio oh my god it's like your soul is it's like you're having a heart awakening like, I just feel like your heart is expanding. Like, you are really connected with your light in the month of October. And happy birthday! <laughs> okay, but also, guys, like, keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may resonate. It may not. However, I have set the intent that whoever stumbles upon this video, that you're able to walk away with something that will transform your life for the better. You walk away never the same. OK, and I feel like that is something that has, you have really been focusing in on, Scorpio. I, I see a lot of your throat chakra um, being awakening, whatever communication was held back or you were you didn't want to speak on. I see you speaking on it in the month of October, like you're really your authentic self. You're allowing your emotions to flow. You're showing all aspects of you. OK, not just the, I want to say the big bag woof, <laughs> but also the beautiful fluffy angel that lives inside of my Scorpios like for real like you turn in a new leaf and I'm so proud of you all right and you really need to congratulate yourself on just your effort within yourself within your spiritual journey within your healing journey within your life I don't care what you're looking at Scorpio and I also see some kind of financial gain and and your finances turning over like you're really you're really, a, I want to say like a new person, but you are really turning a new leaf in the month of October. So let's just see what energy are you embodying, okay? We have connected, we have decisions. You're really standing in your power to make these decisions. Also, like I said, your finances are changing. If it was bad, baby, I see it getting um, better, okay? And not that, making some decisions concerning the matters of the heart and love and in your finances that are ultimately going to shift um, your reality. Okay. So put yourself, that P was kind of hard, but put yourself out there in the month of October. Okay. Because I see it bringing a lot of good things to you. Financial stability. Okay. With these decisions that you're making to open up to certain connections, you know, to get connected to your heart space, to allow somebody in that intimate heart space is doing what liberation, liberating you, breaking free from a negative attachment. I feel like you're setting yourself free. I ain't gonna lie. When I got into your energy, I was like blast from the past, but I feel like you guys are making decisions to cut ties with any old connections. You know, like you're like, you know what, right now is about me. And if you can't be about me, then I can't be about you right now, which is ultimately advancing you forward, Pisces. Why did I say Pisces? Okay. Um, <laughs> Scorpio, keep focused on your dream. So I feel like you're keep your, um, by not choosing to feed a connection or feed anything that does not, um, Removing yourself from these negative attachments and not feeding anything that is not of your highest good. I see like that's allowing you to focus on your achievement, on your dreams, your stability, what it is that you want to um, build. I just feel like you have tunnel vision with some creative project or in work, okay, that is going to pay off. Big time, evolution, earth changes, climate changes, transformation. So listen, spirit really wants you to know that you are on the right track, Scorpio. Keep it up no matter what it looks like. Just keep honoring yourself. Stay connected to your heart, okay? Um, continue to make these decisions in your personal power about what benefits you. And I see like you conquering the world, in the month of October that is really setting you up for something long-term, like 
The energy that you're embodying, what you're, the attachments that you're releasing is really going to set your life up for the next two to three years. And it's going to set it on something solid, okay, where you're connected, where you have the connections that you want and the finan financial stability that you desire. Scorpio, yeah, mm -hmm, told you, windfall. What's crowning you? Windfall. You see that? For some of my Scorpios, your windfall is, is being blocked right now by some negative attachment. I feel like it's to a person or it could be to like a way of thinking of or a job. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like whatever, whatever you leave, you'll know what it is. Whatever you leave behind or a mindset of you not believing in yourself, um, Scorpio. But I feel like a windfall. This is unexpected blessings. By you releasing what no longer serves you, okay? Or making the decision to join in, putting yourself out there, um, you know, actually connecting with other humans, <laughs> you know, connecting in love, opening your heart, being vulnerable. Yeah, because I see the destroyer, oh my God. Tearing down old walls, strongholds, and rebuilding something, fertility right here, long, you know, longevity, worthwhile, tearing down the old, Scorpio and building something new three creation right here this is so beautiful for you so let's see what's going on in love okay mm. oh wow it says life is life is always changing and I drift easily through those changes good and bad as I drift through hard times I can take comfort in knowing that I will leave them behind as I drift away from good 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 times I can take comfort in knowing that more will come my way mm, okay so this is what I'm seeing when it comes to love for you guys there could be a connection okay you have options in love Scorpio you, we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and we also have express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. So I feel like for some of my Scorpio, you have a secret admirer or you're the secret admirer, okay? You know, and you have a decision to make, either give an old connection a chance right here or even a connection that is start, but it didn't quite get off the um, ground. Like you never really, maybe this person expressed their love to you or you expressed their love to, you express your love to them, but they didn't express it back. I feel like there's a new connection, but it's, but it's like, you know each other, but it didn't get off the ground. But that's because, someone was still hung up on a past and you're probably mirroring each other is what I'm um, hearing but I feel like you have an option of what to connect with and we and I did see mercury <laughs> retrograde come to you so I do feel like you're going to have some blasts from the past right here um with this um four of swords you know it's someone that you're thinking about just know that the person is thinking about you too okay um, but you have an option to move forward and build something solid with someone new. Someone, and I let me see, I feel like this new connection, um, it's, it's yeah, they're going to, like, yeah, you, you have it. They're going to be communicating with you. Ooh, for some of you, this is your match, male or female. We have the emperor here. Or, you know, mm, oh, I, I, mm, I feel like giving, like, an emperor energy here. This could be a divine connection. On both ends, you're gonna you're gonna have options. If you ain't got options now, baby, blast it from the past and and a new new admirer. So, what does spirit want you to do? You know, what's of your best interest and the highest good, Scorpio, when it comes to love and these two connections? Let's see the older connection. Let's see the magician. Okay, so you have the power to, to turn this around. Yeah, just gotta stand in your truth. Speak what it is that you want here. Okay. Mm. no no we got the six of cups okay i do feel like it's a soulmate connection here but the five of swords here it's, it's it's just this conflict it could be distance it could be you know um they're not quite willing to work on it like you could we got the eight of pentacles again and i feel like yeah see the five of pen five of pentacles they're not the past that you guys have been on this cycle on and off on and off um they're they, it's just going to be that for right now. I don't feel like they're ready to really fully commit and work. So let's see this newer connection. Let's see this newer connection, Scorpio. The six of cups. Yeah, this person is here. This person desires something from me. Yeah, they want to build with you. They're willing to invest right here with this queen of pentacles. Yeah, and they're going to move towards you fast. 
Yeah, this is a secret admirer. They're going to make their self revealed to you, Scorpio. Or you kind of know who this is. Yeah, this is this is your just due for whatever situation from the past that was not. For some of you, I feel like if you're a masculine and this is a feminine, okay, feminine energy, you know what I mean? I feel like you're going to be making a move to really connect with this new person. I feel like this past situation, yeah, it's just, you're just making a conscious decision to put this to the past and that's what's best for you. And I feel like that's going to benefit you. Yeah. Because this, this connection is just, oh my God. Like you have to make a decision. And I feel like this passage is so much. It's love there, but it's so much pain. And I feel like a lot of you Scorpios are going to be making a decision to move with this new person. Move forward with this new person. Yeah, to see where it can go, honey. And I feel like that's your best option right now. That's what Spirit is saying. That's your best option right now. Yep, the Queen of Cups. Yeah. They're willing to give emotions. They're willing to put in with you. Oh my God, a new beginning in love over here. Yeah. So that's what I see. I see a new beginning in love coming in for you guys, which is awesome. You know, I feel like no matter what, you know, Scorpio, give this new person a try. Give them a new try. Give, the, yeah, give this new person a try. You know, you don't want to be left with what ifs, you know, you know what that old connection got you. It's not saying, I don't know, maybe you have to be over them forever, but like give this new person a try is what I'm hearing. Okay. Cause I feel like whether this is your twin flame or not, or you, you know, you go by that. I feel like this is a divine soulmate, someone that, you know, is that's really good for you in a healthy way. So also what spirit wants you to know in the month of October, Scorpio, that will bring you more fulfillment. Okay. We got plan a vacation. I see some of you guys traveling in the month of October. Okay. Like travel, go somewhere that you love and just be mindful of your emotions. We have sensitive emotions. Times are times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness okay so you're very in tune with your emotions i feel like you know just be mindful of who you allow in your your yeah oh be mindful of who you allow in your circle because i really feel like this is in for some of you in career you're coming out of this five of pentacles and walking into the ten of pentacles a more sturdy um, foundation in your finances, okay? What was lost will be repaired. For a lot of you, you're putting the past behind you in love and walking into this new beginning, okay? Where it's going to be someone that's equally putting in as much as you're putting in. And I feel like no matter what, Scorpio, you deserve to feel how that, to know how that feels, okay? Even if you don't be with this person long term, long term. But also... The divine wants you to know that it's more than one person for you. And maybe you not wanted to hear that, but the divine is limitless. Don't limit yourself. Okay. I told another sign that I think it was a fellow water. So in the month of October, what does spirit want my beautiful Scorpio and handsome Scorpios to keep at the forefront of their mind when they're making decisions, when they're thinking, reflecting, looking at their self is wholeness. You complete you. Okay. No one outside of you completes you. You completely you. You are wholeness. Okay. You want to. Pick connections and opportunities that embrace this wholeness, okay? So, ooh, as I said, that was 1111. I love you guys so freaking much. It was such an honor to read for you. If it resonated, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I'm friendly. Share it with your fellow Scorpios, okay? I love you guys, and I will catch you on my channel. Take care.